Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I know times are weird right now, but I figured we'd have a little sense of normalcy right now. And you might be at home more than you're used to, so I figured I'd give you a little form of escapism. So today we have, let me not show my address. <laughs> idea unboxing but this is a little different kind of unboxing because I've already unboxed this and tried these on also I knew exactly what I was getting because I picked out these pieces. So as you may know, Adia is a plus size styling service. So you get a box of clothes that your stylist picks out for you. You can keep what you like and send back what you don't. So in addition to their styling service, you can also just straight up shop from their website now. So my winter coat that I've been wearing since October, November came from straight up shopping Dia's website. So you can go to shop.dia.com and just pick out pieces you want. So you don't have to like tell your stylist you want a certain city chic dress or tell your stylist you're looking for a certain skirt. Like you can just straight up go to their inventory and be like, okay, I like this coat, let me get it. So I've been wearing this coat every day for the past five, six months. Um, and I paid, I think $89 for it. It is currently, I think 65. And sometimes they run half off sale. I was looking at dia.com and I noticed this was on sale for $32 and I got kind of mad because I paid 89, but I've gotten my fair use out of this jacket and I will for years to come, but you can, if you do it right, scoop up my winter coat for 32 bucks. But I've used shop.dia.com in the past. So I had some credit on the website, so I wanted to do a bigger order and show you guys that in addition to getting a style box, which they still do, you could still get those, you can also just pick out what you want and get it shipped to your house. And you're still gonna get it in the cute Dia box, which has the cutest branding, like, <laughs> adorable. Also, they're still gonna send you the pre-packaged mailer, so if there's anything that doesn't fit or like just doesn't work when you put it on in person, you can just send it right back. There's no weird return. You don't have to print a return label. None of that. Super easy. So I have my invoice here. I'm gonna show you what I got. And as always, I will link all the items down below. So let's get started. We're gonna start with my favorite thing. So I watch a lot of other plus size YouTubers. A lot of them aren't super well known. I love finding a small channel. So there's a YouTuber, her name is Mary Runkle. She lives in Chicago. She's a comedian. She's an accountant. In my mind, we are best friends. She has a pet named Elaine Bennis. Like truly we are on the same wavelength. So she did a D unboxing a couple months ago and she got this city chic dress and it looked so cute on her that I have not stopped thinking about it since I saw it on her. Um, so when I was shopping at Dia.com, I knew that they carried city chic and city chic is one of my favorite brands just kind of out of my price range so I only get a city chic thing once in a blue moon but I've been thinking about this dress for about a year at this point and they have it in so many patterns and colors but this is the one that Mary got a classic polka dot um so I had some credit in my idea account and they had the pattern that I wanted so I was like okay it's time I'm getting the dress so it is a black and white polka dot. It has a zipper in the back. I didn't need that getting in. And then it's like a nice little skater dress, like super cute, pin-up-y, um, Mad Men kind of vibes. A lot of the things in this haul are kind of workwear inspired. You know how they say like dress for the job you want, not for the job you have? Like I'm a freelance bookkeeper now, but I would love like a nine to five financial analyst, but in like a cool work thing that I can wear a dress like this. So I'm trying to like buy things that I will get to wear once I get my nine to five job. You know, hopefully that happens. Like I said, pray for me. If you know any resume writers, hit me up. Um, but I love the neckline on this too. So it's a V-neck, but then there's a little panel right here that'll save you from being like creeped on by the old man at work you know? Um, but the way the panel lays, I love how that looks. Again, this comes in solids. It also comes in a bunch of like floral patterns, but I loved how this looked in polka dot. So something I also like is that the belt carries the same pattern in the front. So it blends in really well, but it still brings you into the waist perfectly. You're not going to get a weird shelf because like my, my like gut and hips, I got like a tire around my waist and that sometimes looks shelf-ish when I have a belt on here but it helps pull me in at the waist and then the rest of the dress flows off really nicely so this is super comfy and the belt is kind of camouflaged but then it is solid black in the back just to break you up a little bit i really love the design detail of that so i think that's really cute you could take this off completely if you don't like it but i think it pulls you in really nicely so i got this in a size 16 slash small that's how city chic does their sizing but i got this in a 16 that is my 
size across the board and this fits perfectly. I love this. I'm going to wear this a ton. And I'm just happy that after months of thinking about this dress that it's finally mine. All right, next another like workwear inspired item. This one I almost didn't get, but I had some money in the credit and I'm really happy I did because once I put this on, I was like, ooh, this is my interview dress. Again, I'm trying to use positive vibes, positive thinking that I will get interviews and I'll get to wear this dress. So, you know. So I brought up how much I love wearing maroon. I think that's my power color. I love anything maroon. And this dress is a great cut for me. It comes up higher in the neck. Again, more modest. I'm not gonna be like titties out. And then the silhouette of this is really nice on my body. Comes in at the waist, nothing too drastic. And then it has a nice light skater effect to it. It's not gonna be like bam, but it's like a nice flow off the body kind of skater cut. It has an attached belt that you can take off, but I really liked how this looked. Cuts it up right in the middle. Really classy. Like I felt like an adult in this, which is good, while still being young. Like, you don't wanna look like you're 89 years old. Like, this is still professional, but like, men would wanna talk to me at the bar after work. Cute, you know? So even though it's just kinda plain up here, the bottom has some personality. So there is tears at the bottom. Let me stand up. So at the bottom, there are tiers of ruffles. Really cute, really nice cascading kind of lines. Nothing drastic, nothing like too loud and out of the ordinary, but I think this just lays really nicely on the body and it's a cute little added design detail. So this one I got in a size 16, fits me perfectly. The belt fits great, it's adjustable, and it's one of those things where you um just pop in, I wanna say a little nipple, but you know what I mean, like a little, Boop. <laughs> and then you hide the tail in the back. That has been my problem with so many other belts. Like the tail is just flopping everywhere. Like there isn't a place to put it, but I like that you can hide it in the back here. Looks a little bit more polished. So I really like that design detail too. So this dress is $69, which if you know me, like I'm very cheap, but I think the quality of this dress justifies the price and the fact that I'm gonna be wearing it on interviews. I wanna look polished and not be wearing something from Forever 21 on a job interview. And then depending on the workplace I end up in, I might need to wear this on the regular. You know, it really depends on the dress code of where I end up, but this is definitely going to be my interview dress. Okay, something not work related, but really fun, really cute. I, it's funny that I got this and now we're having like these heat waves, but I'm gonna have this for a while. But this is good for like cooler spring days and then this will definitely be worn like every day in the fall. So this is a cheetah print poncho and it has the zip in the front. So um, a brown and black cheetah print, super cute. You know I'm into cheetah print like crazy. Um, so basically like a big blanket, there is a little sewn part to give you uh, the shape of an arm so you have a little armhole and then the front zippers all the way to the bottom so if you want to completely like unzip be my guest but you can totally zip it up and it won't be falling off of you one of the influencers i follow wore this and like a camel colored hat to the airport and she looked so cool like when i go to the airport i i have like my airport uniform and it's leggings and a big black long tank top like that's what I wear. Maybe one day I'll be cool and wear like an actual outfit to the airport, but this is the step in the right direction. But I love a poncho. I think they look so polished, even though you are kind of wearing like a big blanket or a big sweater. These are also good for the office. Like I know sometimes the AC is like blaring, so you can totally pop this on and wrap it around you as a blanket. Like we've all had that like super cold office where we're bundling up. Like you can go to the movies wearing this and completely fall asleep. Fun story. So Keith, who you might remember from my Vlogmas vlogs, we went to college together and we took film together and we took astronomy. Ast yeah. And our campus had a planetarium on campus. So like every other class we'd go and they had the recliner seats and you would just like stare at the ceiling. Me and Keith would pass out within the first six minutes of those classes. So we would bring like napping supplies to film class or um, astronomy. We'd bring blankets, we'd bring pillows and we'd pass out. So this would have been great for astronomy class and falling asleep in class, you know, bundle up, get cozy. Also fun fact, I ended up getting the highest grade in that film class and was exempt from the final. So somehow napping paid off. Um, and look at me now looking for an accounting job. <laughs> but anyways, super cute, super functional. I love a poncho. I have like three and you can wear it as like an outerwear piece or like incorporate it into your outfit. Anyways, super cute cape slash poncho. I just feel like you look really posh and put together when you're wearing something like this. Like a cool British lady. 
Anyways, I have one more thing, and back when I ordered my winter coat, I also ordered a pair of leggings from Lola Getz, um, and they were maroon, and there was this whole saga with me and maroon leggings. It's finally been solved, but I really love Lola Getz leggings. I got them in a Dia style box probably a year ago, and they are such good quality, and you know me, I know my leggings. So I ended up having to return the maroon ones just because they were too big. So when it came time for this order, like I had my credit, and I knew this how the size worked this time around. So this time I ended up with black Lola Getz active leggings and I got these in a size 0x. So the problem I had last time around was that there was just too much fabric around the knee, around the ankle, like there was, it was just too much. So now that I sized down, obviously they're gonna like grow with me. They're spandex so it's not gonna be like digging into me, but I, I'm not getting that like excess fabric feeling. Also I just knew I would love the quality and the feel of these. These are super thick, super opaque, great waistband, did not move when I was doing all my stuff. So I knew I would like it, I just needed to get the correct size this time around. I'm a little bummed they were out of the maroon ones, but they did have black and I'm always down for a black legging. I am so close to 250 spin classes. Hopefully that happens soon, we'll see, but like I'm going and going and going. So I'm going through my active leggings like crazy. I don't think the wash cycle is keeping up with me. So it's always good to have another pair on deck. And I know that these will last through a spin class or a Zumba class. So I'm happy I have these. And also just really happy I discovered Lola Getz through Dia, through my stylist. And also now that I can just get them straight at Dia. So I, I know I mentioned prices like halfway through for like half the items. So I'm gonna go through it again. Again, I had a credit. So this was me spending more than I usually do, but the quality of these is good and I had a credit. So this City Chic dress is $89. Again, very expensive, but City Chic is pretty expensive, um, but that's gonna last me a really long time and the quality is really good. Then the Lola Getz leggings were $45. That's an amazing price for any leggings. That's pretty much on par price-wise with like my Under Armour or my Torrid leggings, which I wear all the time. So I would say that's a fair price for leggings. That's what I would usually pay. The poncho was $60. Again, kind of expensive, but it's an outerwear piece. It's a blanket. It's, it's so many things in one. And then the maroon ruffle dress was $69, which I mentioned. But again, that's kind of like an investment piece. It'll make me look like an actual adult for once in my life. So this was a little out of the norm for me price-wise. But like I said, I did have some credits. And anyone can build your credits through Dia. You just refer a friend, get some money back. Like you don't have to be an influencer, even though no one knows who I am or is influenced by me. Who knows? Um, anyone can get these credits rack up some money, go shopping. Anyways, that was my Dia unboxing, even though I picked out these items and they were already unboxed. But like I said, you could still get a straight up Dia box. If you don't know what Dia is, it's crazy to me how many people don't know what Dia is. They are a plus size styling company, so they only do plus size clothing. So they know fits and silhouettes and brands. Um, they specialize in plus size. So they're catering just for us. We're not an afterthought. They are zeroed in on the plus size market, which I love. So they do styling boxes. So you pay $20 for your styling fee and then your stylist picks out five items for you, send it to your house, and then you can try on in the comfort of your own home. You don't have to leave, which is kind of perfect for this time that we're living in right now. You don't have to leave your house. Try it on, keep what you like, send back what you don't like. Um, the mailers are included so you don't have to print anything or find a big bag to put it in like it's all done for you super easy and then if you keep anything that $20 goes towards that item so they do styling boxes and they also do active boxes which is where I got the Lola Getz leggings that first time around and as this video demonstrates now you can also just straight up shop at Dia because there's been so many times where I watch someone's Dia unboxing like Mary's and go I want that polka dot dress now I can just put it in my cart and buy it. So takes out that kind of middleman of a stylist, which I do love having a style box every now and then, but now it's just a quicker process. You go, I like that dress, I'm gonna buy it. Boom, done. Also, shipping is free, returns are free. They want you to get your right size, so they'll work with you, sending it back and forth. Like, they truly care about their customer, which is something I love about Dia. And I know I talked a lot about workwear and interviews. I'm always stalking their careers page, so if they need an accountant, that would just be like the best of both worlds for me. Um, but anyways, I will link all these items down below. I will even link my winter jacket down below if you wanna scoop it up for 69, or if you're lucky and they're running a sale, maybe even 32, 35 dollars. 
great winter coat, but I will link all these items down below. I will also leave a link for a Dia style box if you've never tried it and want to try it. If you've tried it and want to try it again, I'll leave a link for that too. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what kind of content you want to see because I know a lot of people are going to be home more than usual watching YouTube. So if there's anything you want to see, let me know. I have another haul coming up probably in two days. I have a styling video, but I am open to suggestions. So let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be well, be safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.